are continuing to uncover cracks in a city agency meant to keep you safe. Our WUSA 9 original investigation into the D.C. Department of Consumer and Regulatory Affairs revealed a lack of resources and a shoddy inspection process. We told you about dangerous elevators in some apartments, and now we're taking a look at elevators in buildings you may step into every day. Stores, hospitals, hotels, and we're not the only ones taking a close look at how this agency is run. Here's Delia Gonsalves. I'm supposed to be protecting the public. That's why I'm speaking up, because I am doing my job. That's Audric Payne, an elevator inspector. He works for DCRA, and he's our whistleblower. He's calling out the agency for having just three inspectors for the city's 20,000 elevators. Now, to fill in that gap, DCRA hires outside third-party inspectors, but Payne says DCRA approves their work, even though his follow-up inspections show that work still doesn't meet safety codes. How often is that happening? Every day. Every single day. These are some of the DCRA inspection reports from January 2015 to July 2017 that we got our hands on. Inside these two stacks are locations like shops, hospitals, and hotels, all with elevator violations. Some tagged unsafe for use, others with illegal wiring, work done without permits, and expired licenses. And these elevators are still in service. Inspection reports show the elevators in this Midtown DC Marriott has had outstanding violations from late December 2017 until this past April, when the company did get the elevators up to code. DCRA's paperwork shows they could have been fined $24,000. But Marriott tells us they, quote, have not received any notice of fines. And for good reason, DCRA only has one attorney assigned to review the notice of infractions. So even if Inspector Payne cites these violations, companies don't immediately feel the hit to their bottom line. Is every elevator that hasn't had a proper inspection a hazard? I would say yes until it's looked at because you and I can't drive our car out here unless it's inspected. Ever shop here? Well, inspection reports say the elevators inside this H Street Walmart are all operating without a license. In fact, we've learned that the store has been fined up to $16,000 for not doing a fire safety test that's required by DCRA. We did stop inside and discovered that one elevator is now blocked off for maintenance. Recently, 10 people were trapped on one of those elevators. They were not able to alert anyone because there was no working alarm bell or phone inside. A DCRA inspector shut it down and tagged it as, quote, unsafe for public use. Increasingly, I'm seeing a credibility problem. Chairman, that's not fair. Oh. That woman taking a beating at the council hearing is Melinda Bowling. She's the director of the Department of Consumer and Regulatory Affairs. She's being grilled again by council members because of the constant complaints from citizens that the agency is not protecting them. Bowling is on the defense because council members say DCRA is run so poorly that residents are at risk with elevators that are still operating with safety violations. Listen, we've been trying to interview you for let a really me, long time. Check my staff and I'll be right back. Okay. 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 When Director Bowling did return, we showed her a stack of emails since January requesting an interview. I mean, these are all the emails going back to January. Now she claims the reason no one ever followed through as promised was a possible scheduling issue. As for the dangerous elevators still in service in so many of our public buildings, we never got a straight answer on that one. Are you serving your community when you have hearing after hearing of these people complaining? What I would say is I think we issued over 50,000 permits last year. And you do have people who do complain, but they're a small percentage. They need an elevator repair. We're out there trying to work with the property owner to make sure it can happen as quickly as possible. Do we have missteps? Absolutely. But we're working to fix every one of them. And we are doing what we're charged with, which is the life, safety, and protection of the citizens. 
Now, Walmart did not respond to any of our emails regarding the elevator issues at its H Street location, but it's not just those elevators. The store's escalators have safety violations, too, and are operating without a valid license. This is just eye-opening, Delia. Really some important safety information here. And Inspector Payne shares some more insight into DCRA. You'll want to hear what he tells Delia when he tried to conduct a fire safety test at a hotel in the district. It's on our WUSA 9 mobile app and website right now.